in the ancient Americas, during certain times and places, people wore ornaments in their nose, as many people do today, except they got a little bit bigger in ancient times. You wouldn't have worn them every day. Many of them are made of gold. You can appreciate them for the sheer geometry of these beautiful little things. This one, it would have hung from the septum of the nose. It's lightweight and airy, which evokes the immateriality of a cobweb. And there the spiders are stuck in their web. Peru, particularly along the coast, is one of the driest deserts in the world. And the spiders were associated with agricultural fertility and rain. The idea that you have a, a creature that is associated with something as precious as rain just adds to the meaning of the object. For some hundreds of years, they were fashionable with high-level men. When you wore them, this would fit over the mouth. There are other such ornaments that practically cover the whole face, and it's a form of mask, a form of change personality. Those have other implications. Some shamanistic role, it may have been worn by a man who had some extra perception of when it's going to rain. In the tombs of important people, you can find as many as five, six nose ornaments, often with different imagery so that each image must have meant something to the person there. All of the sort of luxury goods of the era in which this particular nose ornament was made do emphasize the face. They were trying to make the person who wore them significant. They were the billionaires of their time. Unfortunately, the New World has very few writing systems. What we learn from are often the objects themselves. It's part of the intrigue leading you on. Altogether, it's the objects that have to speak for their time and place.